The indigenous air defense systems of Joshin and Katam owned by the Army Air Defense Force have successfully shot down mock targets in the Joint Specialized Air Defense Exercise codenamed Defenders of Sky of Veliot. Through the main phase of the exercise, the Joshin and Katam air defense systems of the Army Air Defense Force destroyed hostile targets that intended to infiltrate the exercise area at low altitude, Brigadier General Kader Rahimzadeh, commander of Iran's Joint Air Defense Base, explained on Wednesday. It was the first time that Katam and Joshin systems were tested. The Joshin missile system is an upgraded version of the 15-corded system that uses passive radar. Rahimzada said the Joshin missile system successfully destroyed the targets assigned by the Integrated Air Defense Network, Erna reported. He added Iran will not neglect strengthening defense capability as a strategy in the field of air defense. Accurate assessment of the perceived threats in the sky has led us to develop defense systems commensurate with threats, and today there is no threat that we have not thought of a way to deal with, he remarked. It should be noted that the indigenous long-range radar of the Quds Pulse Array of the Air Force of the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps was also involved in the joint specialized exercise. The radar is capable of tracking targets at a range of over 500 kilometers and an altitude of more than 90,000 feet. Armed forces have acquired cutting-edge defense technology, IRGC The IRGC chief said on Wednesday that Iran's armed forces have, thanks to completely indigenous efforts, equipped themselves with the world's top-of-the-range defensive technology. Major General Hossein Salami was speaking during the second day of major air power drills involving the IRGC's Aerospace Division, the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force IRIF, and the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Defense Force IRIADF. The exercise kicked off in the country's sprawling central desert, with the goal of practicing defensive maneuvers in the service of the country's sensitive and vital spots, and testing the operational maneuverability of the armed forces' new generation defensive equipment among other things. Over just two days, the maneuvers saw the combined forces successfully lay into all the targets that had been designated for the purpose of the drills by the country's integrated air defense network, using at least six state-of-the-art air defense systems, namely Merced 16, Tabas, Corded 3, Corded 15, Majid, and Desfol. What we perceived during this exercise was a modern and advanced display of every aspect of air defense operations in the face of unpredictable scenarios, Salami noted. By God's grace, all the targets that entered the area of the drills were struck by the system's first shot, General Salami stated. The reason for this is that the IRGC's Aerospace Division and the Army's Air Defense Force have acquired cutting-edge technology for its very modern and advanced systems, Press TV quoted him as saying. General Salami went on to specify the message that the drills have been assigned to convoy. According to the commander, the exercises are meant to send across the invariable message of unity between the IRGC and Army in their duty to serve in the country's defense. The unity, he said, was rooted in the dual forces' defensive cooperation during the Western-backed imposed war that former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein waged on the Islamic Republic from 1980 until 1988. The military drill kicked off with the deployment of indigenous missile, radar, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, communication systems, and visual surveillance network, Fars News reported. Announcing the start of the exercise, Brigadier General Kader Rahimzadeh, commander of Katam Al Anbiya Air Defense Base, said in the first phase of air defense exercise, the deployment of defense systems with the rapid reaction of operational forces in accordance with the principles of passive defense to deceive the enemy were carried out. General Rahimzadeh added, at this stage of the exercise, reconnaissance flights and identification of manned and unmanned aircraft of the Army and the IRGC were conducted. 
protecting the air borders of the Islamic Republic and comprehensive protection of the country's sensitive and vital centers are among the aims of the drills, the commander stated. Pointing to the use of indigenous air defense systems in the exercise, the commander of Air Defense Base said stationing command and control systems, the indigenous marriage radar systems, FATA-2 radars, tactical intelligence and reconnaissance systems, electro-optical systems and electronic warfare systems were used in the exercise. Referring to the air defense systems used in the exercise, General Rahimzada said, in the Joint Specialized Air Defense Exercise, all detection, reconnaissance, interception and combat systems used by the A.